Oh, it worked. Okay, so my camera was being funky this morning. Okay, <clears throat> as you notice, I have no music on because I have no makeup on. I'm just kidding. Um, but I do have no music on. This is going to be a really short video because I want to get your response and figure out. This is my new piece of equipment. Love it. I, oh, oh, wait. Blah. There we go. It's great. I love it. I'm so excited about my new... Opa said it was too big, but mm, I like it. Oh, well, sometimes I'm just too big. Too big for the world. Anyway, um, dude. So, yeah, uh, right. So, I am wanting to hear from you. I've heard some interesting responses, mainly on Facebook. But I want you guys to, if you can, video respond to me. I think um, that will correlate some good conversation, men versus women. Um, I really want to know, is it okay for a woman to approach a man? Um, I just got back from vacation. I actually have a couple minutes before I need to get ready to work. But I really wanted to, to throw this topic out there and see what I got. So um, while I was on vacation, I was actually staying with a couple. They've been married 40-some years um, to the same person. My parents have been married seven... No, whoa. my parents have been married... Marrying 37 years, 37, 38, around there, to the same people. So, um, I've been surrounded by some really good relationships. Um, and, you know, they all talk about how their, you know, their husband pursued them. And at first they were like, no, I'm not interested. And he, like, wore her down with persistency. You could hear the thrill of the chase and then the passion of they finally, you know, got on the same page so I and it was that motivation that I really think has helped them last that long so today's video is a question to you should the woman approach the man first or should the man approach the woman I am of the personal school of thought which I'm sure has to do with where I was raised that the man, he he's the man. That's his job. And my mother used to tell me, however you start a relationship, that's kind of the momentum you're going to create, and you're going to have to keep that momentum to keep it going. So if I start out approaching you and, oh, let's go to dinner, let's, you're going to expect me to do that the whole relationship, which I am, I am definitely an aggressive person when it comes to something that I want, when it comes to business. Um... I focus on it. I say, okay, this is what we need to do. But, but you got to do this. You got, I'm very straightforward when it comes to that. But when it comes to relationships, I like to take off my superwoman cape and just be me. Like, I enjoy being a woman. And so I want to feel feminine. I want to feel like someone else other than me is in charge. And I'm a good follower. So that whole submissive bit, it bothers me not at all. In fact, I truly believe that you have to be the stronger person to be submissive. And so, like, you know, I'm I'm of the school of thought that, like, husband should come home, dinner should be ready, kids should have already had their homework and be laid down for bed just waiting to spend some daddy time. Kids go to bed, mom and dad do what they do, you know, hey, how was your day, blah, 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 can I get you anything, you want to run your bath, da, 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 da. Then they do the growing up things, and then the next day starts. Like, that's that's what I was used to, and it worked beautifully. And there was never a time where I felt like, oh, mom, you're weak, or whatever. Never. I never felt like that. Um, and because my mother was such a great woman to my father, his natural response was to be a great man. Like, it's almost like her knowing her role inspired him and gave him the motivation to do his role as the man and the head of the household really well. So that's that's me. That's what I would like to emulate. And my household is some one that, you know, the man is the man and the woman is the woman. And I'm not talking about setting us back 50 years as far as women's rights movements. I think women, if you're really savvy about yours, because my mother was, you can have your job and take care of your home together. Because it's a communication thing. It's a two-way street. And I think that women should really learn how to support their significant others. And I also feel like, um, this is now I get into my biblical mode. Alright, so the Bible definitely says that he that findeth a wife 
Meaning you must already be a wife. So I don't want to date a guy and I don't want him to date me if I'm just, oh, she's fun to be around. No, like I want him to date me because he can see, oh, she has the potential to be my helpmeet. I want that to happen. And in the meantime, while I'm single, I'm like, okay, God, I need you to help my character, help my patience, help me be humble, help me to be even more submissive, help me to be that helpmate that's going to not only have my husband proud to be out in public with me but excited to come home with me in private you know what I mean so I want to be a success on both ends because sometimes I see families that they, on the outside they look really good it looks it looks a public success but it's a private failure like at home it is terrible the family dynamics are the worst so I don't want that I want to be genuinely in love with my husband and I want <clears throat> us to genuinely be an example outside of the home as well so anyway that's my little two cents i want to know should women approach a man first especially living here in korea where the men will look and they may even flirt but that let's meet for coffee doesn't happen and so i'm starting to think is it me <laughs> Am I, am I cool to talk to but not cool to ask for coffee? I don't know because I've seen a lot of um, interracial couples and marriages, which brings me to my next point. I would like to um, I have a friend in Daegu and not Opa. <laughs> um, she's actually married to a Korean man and she's black. So I want to interview them for you guys so that we can hear from a real life example of how the dy the dynamics of that work um, in their relationship. So how did he meet her? Did she ask him, you know, how did that work? Because again, in this culture, it's very common. A lot of my Korean friends who are females are like, oh, just ask them and whatever. You have to, you know, do the egg yo, which is like, oh, Oppa, we should meet for coffee. You know, you have to do that. They really like that. You have to be helpless. Um, except for when you want to go out with them. And I was just like, uh, that's not my flavor. So are there Asian men out there who are aggressive? Who are a man's men who would just stand and say, hey, I like your style. Let's spend some time. That is super sexy to me. So if you're out there, hello. If you are out there, Asian men who does not require me to be like She-Ra or, or who doesn't require me to be the man in the relationship, Dude, my number is 010-5154-8463. That holla at your girl, okay? If, 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 you are, if you are a man's man, there's nothing sexier than that. Side note, speaking of a man's man, in the Asian culture right now, it, the androgynous thing is cool. So a lot of the men are really dressing like women and like the, the line is really fine. So like you'll see super tight female jeans on and then super tight shirts with like a lot of jewelry and mascara maybe even some foundation and earrings and curly hair flipped to the side and you're like whoa I like your outfit but you're a guy like so I also would prefer as this now just turned into a personal ad I would also prefer um an Asian who's a man's man that is that, to me, menly men are sexy because I'm enough woman by myself. I don't want you to be a woman, too. I don't, yeah, that kind of defeats the purpose of a heterosexual relationship. If both of us are being like the same sex, right? So, anyway, that's my two cents. And you've been watching MKJ TV. Again, let me know, should a man or should a woman ask a man, approach a man, date a man, or even propose to a man and... If it's a culture difference, should me, as a woman, approach a guy because I'm in Asia and guys are shy, supposedly. So, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thank you for tuning in. Good morning.